So J.D. Vance is continuing to have a, a rough one out there, man. Uh, Trump leans into literal neo-Nazi propaganda, saying legal Haitian immigrants are eating cats. Total lie, totally untrue. They're spreading bogus, debunked videos trying to pretend like it's Haitian immigrants in Springfield that are eating cats. Nonsense, absolute nonsense. But J.D. Vance, his job, of course, is to be Trump's little ball coddler, his little sycophant, defend everything daddy says. So he has to go out there and make a fool of himself repeatedly and double down and triple down and quadruple down on this stuff. Kristen Welker of NBC is going to ask him a really great question, right? Um, and, you know, look, his uh, J.D. Vance's wife is Indian American, okay? And Trump has now snuggled up to Laura Loomer, this D-list conservative celebrity who's extremely racist, and she's been tweeting about the White House is going to smell like curry and Kamala's going to make collard greens, and, I mean, she's just going over the top with it. She's really committing to the bit. She's the female Milo Yiannopoulos is what this woman is, and Trump is listening to this person for advice on how to run the campaign. Insane. Absolutely insane. So Kristen Walker is going to ask, hey, man, you have any thoughts on Trump's right hand woman saying racist shit against Indians? Your wife's an Indian American. Look at how he handles this. Ready? I've been talking to allies of former President Trump who are frankly outraged. They're alarmed that Donald Trump has been traveling with Laura Loomer. She uh, is someone who says she supports white nationalism. She spread conspiracy theories, including that the September 11th attacks are an inside job. She recently said that Kamala Harris, whose mother was Indian, uh, if she wins in November, quote, the White House will smell like curry. Senator, you are married to an Indian American woman. What was your reaction to hearing those comments specifically? Well, Kristen, I want to go back to what you said about Haitian migrants to begin with, because you didn't give me a chance to respond. Homie, you were just asked to defend the honor of your own fucking wife. And you dodged it. I want to go back to the other thing, which was slightly less uncomfortable. Let's go back to that. She asked you a direct question about defending your wife from racist MAGA attacks going after people like her parents. And honestly, probably her too, because these guys are not just against illegal immigrants, they're against legal immigrants. They're going after the Haitians who are legal. Your own wife is being disrespected and smeared. You're asked directly about it and you dodge it? Look, I'm calling it now. This marriage is not lasting. I'm calling it now. Hear me now, quote me later. This marriage is not lasting. It's not going to last. It's not going to last. How would you feel if you're his wife? Watching this. What a fucking weasel. Oh, all he cares about is the power. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme the power. Let me climb that ladder, man. Holy shit. We don't blame the Haitian migrants for coming to Springfield. We blame Kamala Harris for opening the American southern border and inviting 20,000 people to get dropped in a small Ohio town. Now, you asked about Laura Loomer. Look, Laura Loomer is not affiliated with the Trump campaign. Ah. Uh, she said something about Curry in the White House that I first read about this morning, actually, because I knew that you would ask me about it. Look, Kristen, I make a mean chicken curry. I don't think that it's insulting for anybody to talk about their dietary preferences or what they want to do in oh. the White House. I think what Laura said about Kamala Harris is not what we should be focused on. We should be focused on the policy and on the issues. And look, so yeah, do I agree with what Laura Loomer said about Kamala Harris? No, I don't. I also don't think that this is actually an issue of national import. Is Laura Loomer running for president? No. Kamala Harris is running for president. And whether you're eating curry at your, chick at your dinner table or fried chicken, things have gotten more expensive thanks to her policies. Let's talk about the person running for president of the United States, not a social media personality who supports Donald Trump. That was shockingly dishonest. Holy shit. Bro, why are we even talking about Laura Loomer, bro? I mean, is Laura Loomer running for president, bro? No, I don't even know why we're talking about it. It's not like my boss, the person who's the president and I'm the VP, it's not like he's listening to this woman all the time. It's not like he was with her just before the debate taking advice. It's not like she's the one who told him the Haitians eating cats lie. It's not like she's steering the direction of the policy of this campaign. It's not like any of that's true. And okay, she said some racist shit about Indians, bro, but like, some people just don't even like to eat curry, bro. Some people don't like eating curry, bro. Okay, I don't like eating curry, but you'd have to be the most dense motherfucker on the planet to look at what she said and not come to the conclusion, oh, she's being racist on purpose. She's the whole point is the racism. The whole point. Get it curry and collard greens because she's black and she's Indian and the White House is going to smell like that. And that's fucking gross. We don't want a black person or an Indian near the White House, bro. Disgusting, bro. What are we? This is the point. And you are autistically dodging it because you care about protecting your own ass on the ticket. What a pathetic, slimy little weasel boy you are. That's your fucking wife, bro. This is your wife. 
he would he would choose Donald Trump over his wife. That's what this means. And you know who knows that? His wife. That's who knows that, listening to this. Were you and your wife offended? And do you disavow those comments that even some Trump allies say are blatantly racist? Kristen, I just told you, I don't like those comments. And I think that we ought to be focused on Kamala Harris's policy failures. I also huh. don't look at the internet for every single thing to get offended by. I'm running for vice president because I think Kamala Harris has been a disaster and we have to undo her policies. That's what we should be focused on. But by the way, when I say we, I mean the American media. Kamala Harris opened the border. She made food unaffordable. Oh. We should be talking about her failure as an American leader, not a social media personality who supports Donald Trump. Here's the thing. This guy knows he's completely full of shit. He knows it. He knows it. He knows he's being dishonest. He knows he's dodging. He knows he's refusing to defend his wife. He knows Kamala didn't open the border. Biden and Kamala deported more immigrants as a raw number and a percentage compared to Donald Trump. They just did an executive order to stop asylum. They did a bipartisan bill written by a fucking Republican to increase border patrol agents. And it was Trump who killed it. He knows. He, know, he doesn't. Kn I need you guys to understand something. He doesn't care that everything he's saying is false. He doesn't care. He knows it's false. He doesn't care. He also doesn't care that he's refusing to defend the honor of his wife and her family. This is the face of a guilty man right here. This is the face of a man who was presented with the option of careerism versus having a loving and successful marriage. And what did he do? Gimme, gimme, gimme. Careerism time, baby careerism time he's out there repeating literal neo-nazi lies from a group called blood tribe and he won't defend his wife from laura loomer trump's right-hand woman from her racist attacks these are the people these are the people you're now in league with and your whole like oh bro we're populist and we only care about illegal Im immigrants legal ones are fine even that's blown up now the Haitians are legal immigrants, and you guys are still going after them. It's pathetic. It's pathetic. I have no other words for it. He, he stands for nothing. He stands for nothing but himself. And it doesn't even include... He doesn't even stand for his fucking wife, bro. Here's J.D. Vance. Ready? This is J.D. Vance. This is J.D. Vance. Remember that. All right, guys. That's the show. Love y'all very much. You know the drill. Everybody like the video, subscribe to the channel, all that fun stuff. You can support the show on Patreon. That link's below. Um, you could also sub to Crystal Kyle and friends as well. We appreciate that. You get the full interviews and debates and stuff, and you get it a day early. And that's all I got for you, man. Everybody come back tomorrow. We'll have more uh, amazing things to discuss. Peace. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.